Hello and welcome to another Factorio episode. This time I'm starting a new series on the Exotic Industries mod pack. I've installed the whole mod pack, which is all the uh, mods listed here. And of course you will find them there as well. And I added a few more things like the clock. Um, I guess the what is it really used for mod and the no black lines and map view mod and maybe something else uh, factory search yes very important so i have already prepared some settings here the resources i have just left them like they are in the real world in the default real world setup i have played around with the uh, rain a bit but I guess I have just left it at that after I chose some different seeds. I increased the starting area to have the biters further away so that's the first biters I might see or down there so the trees have a lot of chance to actually capture all the pollution that I might create. And I guess, yeah, I have made the research queue available always. Other than that, I don't think I need any other settings, so I will just start the game. Okay, there's something about milestones. Okay, that's the basic vanilla notice. I'll just capture some of the icons that are in there. And I can take damage from the fire. Good to know. I guess I always forget that. I will already get some fish, just in case. That's too far away. Nice, I have a long fishing line. I'm playing without the far reach mod, so I have to make sure that I actually am close to icons, uh, items, entities that I want to mine or something. Normally I play mod packs where I could mine things back there or put things into chest far away. So I guess one thing that I will do now is this and then I will mine one more coal and then I can basically put coal in there and while I'm doing that I can mine more coal manually. I need to make some stone or find some stone. I think there are no stones around this area. I think this might just be different terrain. Terrain, terrain uh, I guess. The rain makes different terrain. So uh, yes, I can create stone, that's interesting making stone out of nothing but that's in the mod pack so it's allowed and i can create stone from slag i guess that's from smelting so there's a chance for getting slag so i can make more furnaces and i guess i will have to move this miner around. I wonder if this can also mine coal into there now. It pretends that it's only iron. So I made a, a milestone which is creating iron ingots. And I guess I always get shown the time when that happened. I 
I'm help helping with the mining, so that some things happen a bit faster. Okay, this can actually be moved further there. I need to be closer than that. I will just for now mine coal manually and I should always be crafting stone. I guess the default for shift clicking is 50. And I can always cancel that if I need to craft something else. So there's a lot of coal in there. Maybe it actually mines some coal. I can now make more burner mining drills and with that I can then mine coal automatically. There's also copper, and I guess further north there's a big coal patch. So why is this not working? I guess it's mining coal sometimes. I wonder if it just cycles through, or if there's a certain chance that the actual thing that is mined will change. Bit interesting and weird. I could just... Okay, I should cancel the stone production actually. And reintroduce it at the end. I wish I could just move things around. I guess there are mods for this. Okay, now I'm making coal automatically there. Could just drop in... No, I will try to save some wood so I don't have to cut too many trees. I wanna live as ecologically as I can as far as I... or as long as I can't really deal with any biters yet. I think they might be dangerous since there are toxic and explosive biters. I don't know what else, but that sounded quite dangerous. So now it's iron ore again, or poor iron chunks in this case. I could just make a row down there and I need some more Furnaces. I can actually grab that far, so that's like 10 blocks almost. I guess it's cheaper to make the stone out of nothing, or I guess it, the time is, takes longer for one stone to be made out of nothing. That might be considered grabbing stone from the ground. So what could I do next? I think I could make some chests. Maybe I could make chests out of wood, I'm not sure. I should do some copper mining soon.
Okay, first copper ingot created. I guess that's happening quite quickly. Um, it takes 3.2 seconds for one smelting. And it's one to one, so every ore becomes one ingot. I think I will destroy this miner because it sometimes mines the wrong thing. I think I will try to use up this uh, smelting energy and only then I can destroy this furnace. I don't know how much of the iron chunks I can put in there. Maybe all of it. I guess if I don't put any further coal in there, it will just not start the next fuel cycle. And that should do it. Okay, I guess I need to look into labs. So they need stone bricks. So I actually need to make stone bricks. For that I will need furnaces probably. I can't just smell slack. Maybe just one more. Okay. I get the iron chunk back. That's good. So some stone bricks are made. I can make one burner lab. I guess there is this Dark Age technology pack that I can make. I should do... Or I should start the research already. And I guess automation is the first thing to do. I guess I did throw in the wood accidentally by control clicking in the void. I can make all the slack to stone. And I might make more burner mining drills because it might be quite some time until I can actually Do something else. So I will have to build more burner mining grills probably. This is out of fuel. Okay, I can make more of these technology packs and I can look at the Informatron. Okay, that's just the basic stuff. Refueling tower. Okay, I guess that's something to do with equipment grids and electricity.
the trains can be fueled. Is it electric? Interesting. Alien artifacts are in this mod pack. Brain progression, uh, progression. This will be interesting. Neo logistic belt. Okay, 90 sec uh, items per second. I guess that's twice as fast as the blue belt. Brains are just big inserters, that seems interesting. Good to know. Okay, this is a lead patch. It looked weird already, so I didn't think it was coal. I might just build some more miners on the coal patch. Not sure how many stone bricks I will actually need. But yeah, the research is 19 items or 19 of the research packs. I think it was 10 before. So every research increases the little demands for the next one. That introduces a strategic element to the game. Trying to figure out what the first research will be and what will be the next. Because everything becomes more expensive. Durability, that's interesting that it is in there. I don't think that was in vanilla. With six digits after the dot. Maybe they should introduce rounding, but I don't know. I might also build a second lab. Would probably increase the pollution overall. Let's just carry half of that over there. Okay, I'm already polluting stuff in an area that I don't see. I almost never want to do that because I want to see if my pollution can reach biters. I guess they are still quite far away. So that's copper patches. These things are just terrain looking differently. Okay, so this pollution definitely doesn't reach any biters. I can kill some trees on the way. Purple stuff is up there. Neodymium. Maybe magnets are made out of that. At least I have some magnets that contain 
Neodymium. Green stuff. Is it uranium? I see green stuff on the map. I will get closer and see whether it... It doesn't hurt, like in Cresto Rio. Or space exploration, I'm not sure. I guess it's from Crestorio. Where stepping on uranium actually hurts. I have this. That's the milestones, interesting. Anyway, I should do more research. Maybe logistics next. I guess, and then gun turret to prepare some things. What do I need for the next milestone or the next um, thing? This one. Okay, gun turrets are actually the requirement. I think I might need more of those Dark Age technology packs soon. And while I'm running around I should always craft some stones out of nothing. I guess I collect them in my shoes while running. I wish I could be faster somehow, but I guess that's the speed that I can do at the moment. This seems to be more of that lake down there. If that is one connected lake. I guess that's what I will uncover for now. And I think I will continue in the next episode. So thank you for watching until now. And see you another time if you like. Tell me if you enjoy this new series, if you want more of it. Goodbye.